also, I'll, I'll also throw in that all of Shell's cameras, and I know all the conspiracy theorists are going to think something big about this, but all of the Shell's cameras did not have the true time. They didn't have the true time. They were 67 minutes behind. Okay. So okay. they had to make some adjustments to get the accurate time to the cameras. And I, I don't really see that as an issue that show all, and this is for all three cameras. All three cameras were off by the same amount of minutes, 67 minutes. But I'm sure there's someone out there that's going to think that there's something fishy with the shell cameras. They're 67 <laughs> minutes off. <laughs> <laughs> But um, that's pretty much all that um, Officer Scott Tubert had to offer. Mm -hmm. And um, interestingly, there was no there was no cross examination of of Eric Holder's attorney to the LAPD officer, and there was no cross examination to Christian Johnson of the defense attorney. He said, "I have no questions." I also would like to add when Christian Johnson was testifying. He got pretty emotional up there um, when, when they started asking him about the gunshots. And then he actually stood up and he saw Nip laying there and he started to cry. They had to, you know, take a break from court and tell the jury to go away. And so he can get his, um, you know, get his stuff together. Um, and I felt it. I really felt that this, this guy was really feeling it. I, I really felt his pain while he's trying to remember that day in Master Burger hearing the gunshots and then seeing Nipsey laid on the ground. That's something that I wanted to ask you. And um, how does that make you feel like you knew, you knowing Nipsey and all these things that are happening. This is someone that you knew that, that was tragically killed. Um, and like, how does that, how does that make you feel like, are you just processing it? Like, how are you processing it? Well, the first thing I'd like to say is uh, I knew Nipsey early on in his career you know, when he had his mixtapes out before he blew up mm -hmm. near the last, I don't know, five, six, seven years of his career, I didn't really have a relationship with him. But going back to 2007 to about 2011 or 12, uh, I knew Nip. And, you know, even for me knowing him in that limited capacity, the when they first put the first exhibit that the prosecution put up there was a photo of Nip. And it was a photo of him smiling with his beard perfectly groomed with that perfect shine on it. Mm. And as soon as I put that picture up there, I, I got a little bit of chills because it, it almost it was like he came to life for a moment because he was he had this huge smile. Um, exhibit number one for everybody that's going to do their research. I mean, it's a beautiful photo of him. And I got some chills at that moment. But then when I heard Christian uh, testify, uh, Christian Johnson testified, uh, I felt his pain. Um, I was getting a little emotional on the inside. You know, I was like, wow, this is, sure. this is gut wrenching, you know, cause the guy was bawling up there literally. And the judge had to take a break. And, and I, I went through a similar situation where I actually witnessed a guy get shot by the LAPD, an unarmed guy get sh got shot by the LAPD and I had recorded it. And several years later, I had to go to court because um, it became a lawsuit with the LAPD. And I, I didn't even know who this guy was. I never met this guy that I recorded his last breaths. You know, I, I saw this guy die right in front of me. And this happened in 2008. But they went to trial on this case like five years later. And when I got on the stand recounting what I saw, uh, I got I got emotional up there, too. I didn't get as emotional as Christian did. But. I felt what Christian was going through because I've been through that same thing, you know, recalling seeing someone die right in front of you, you know, um, it, it is a little traumatic and Christian, he was right there. He was at the master burger. He came out and what does he see when he walks out? He sees Nipsey hustle just laid out from gunshots wounds. So I felt this pain. So it's only day two of this trial or day two of testimony. And I felt, I felt it on the inside two times already. Are you prepared to see the other things like as far as because uh, supposedly they're, they'll, they'll show his autopsy photos? I mean, I can tell you this. When they show an autopsy photo, I'm probably going to shed a tear. Hmm. I'm probably going to shed a tear. No doubt about it. Uh, I've, it's, it's happened to me before. So, um, you know, that's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be tough to see 
to see his body up there on the on the screen. All right.